the story from all angles here. Now, a bit of sports news with a bit of politics thrown in. The Egyptian government has added a retired football star, Mohamed Abu Trika, to its terror watch list. Abu Trika is accused of supporting the banned Muslim Brotherhood. Victoria Gatenby has that full story. To many Egyptians, Mohamed Abu Trika is a football legend who's widely regarded as one of their greatest players. In Cairo, his fans are shocked that the government has put him on a terror list. This is a stupid decision and those who took it are failures. When a well-behaved player like Abu Trika is being called a terrorist, why is this happening? What did he do? Is this what Abu Trika deserves for everything that he's done for this country? And by the way, his popularity is higher than that of the president. Abu Trika is accused of financially supporting the banned Muslim Brotherhood during a six-week protest at Rabat al adawiyah Mosque more than three years ago. At the time, Muslim Brotherhood supporters were calling for the reinstatement of President Mohamed Morsi, who was deposed in a coup after mass protests against his rule. Security forces raided the camps. Human Rights Watch estimates that a thousand people were killed. Some Egyptians support the decision against Abu Trika. I want him imprisoned. He stood against the country. He supported the Brotherhood. He was with them in Rabah and he donated his money to them. We shouldn't let it slide just because he's a football player. Abu Trika's lawyer says his client has not been convicted of a crime, which is a precondition for placement on the government's terror list. To place someone on the terror list on the basis of a malicious verbal statement made by an anonymous person and in the absence of due investigations or valid evidence or a court ruling is an express violation of law and in breach of the constitution. Abu Trika is working in Gabon as a commentator for the Africa Cup of Nations. He denies all the charges and his lawyer says he'll appeal against the court's decision. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera. It is that time on the news grid where I ask Andrew Chappelle what is off the grid, something which we haven't heard.